We all learned at school that the molecular structure of water, the most abundant substance on the planet, is made up of H2O. And what that means is that we have an oxygen, a large oxygen atom, but it's hinged to two hydrogen atoms. So we call it H2O. And what's unique about the, the bonds of hydrogen, which is, which is what actually forms the ice, we know that water can actually go into the hexagon shape. It's a shape-shifting morphine molecule so that we re recognize the scientists like Martin Chaplin, great professors, they realize that water has a strict 104.5 degree angle, but we thought for many decades that it was a strict hinge, but it actually has movement in it. So when water reaches a glacial purified superstructure, that 104.5 degree angle that we thought was fixed actually can open up like a hinge and it hits the critical 108 degrees. And for those of you that know a little bit about the five platonic solids, the, the two shapes are called the icosahedron and the dodecahedron are the two shapes that have the 108 degrees. So when we look at the dodecahedron, this is the fifth element, we can see that these 12 pentagon faces, these are all 108 degree angles. But there's a secret inside of this called the icosahedron. So what happens is that when we stellate the dodecahedron, which is the three-dimensional pentagram, when we stellate each face of the dodecahedron in the golden ratio, so you're looking at what's called a golden triangle, we stellate it, we end up with 12 of these, and what it forms is the icosahedron. Because Pythagoras, two and a half thousand years ago, when they attributed the elements um, fire, earth, air, water, when they attributed all the elements of, say, water, they said water is the um, icosahedron. The shape for water is icosahedron. So how did the ancient Pythagoreans and Plato and all the masters preceding them, they knew that water was icosahedral? Because when we stellate the dodeca, we end up with what's called an icosahedron. And then when you stellate the, each triangular face, when you stellate each of these 20 triangles, you end up with a larger dodeca. So what happens is we end up with the geometric infinity, dodeca, icosa, dodeca, icosa, only if we uh, utilize the 108 degrees. So that's the profound thing of water is that it's a shape-shifting molecule. And we also know that um, water can not just go into a triangular structure, it can also go into a square, pentagon, and hexagon. So numerically, water hits the three, four, five, six. And in numerology, we know that three cubed plus four cubed plus five cubed equals six cubed. So there's all this um, beautiful harmonic relationships all between the relationship between hydrogen and oxygen. And on the periodic table, we know that hydrogen is number one. But another thing that the Pythagoreans did was they they attributed the symbol for Pythagoras as a blue pentacle. That's why I've drawn the pentagram in blue. And this is the pentagon going around. We, we, they attributed five Greek letters, H, Y, G, I, A, to the five angles. And it actually spelt the name of the goddess Hygieia, the goddess of health and healing. And what that suggests is that um, there is a beautiful relationship between sacred geometry and um, integrating our health so that we can be channels for the cosmos, for, for the divine. So that's why crystals are connected to this modern technology because crystals are like liquid light and they store, the shape stores memory because the word mem in ancient Hebrew was water and the ori was the light. And just to um, sort of conclude, I wanted to show you a little bit about the um, three states of water that we all know. We know that there's gas, solid and liquid. And when you go from liquid to solid, you can there's a melting process and a freezing. When we go from liquid to gas, there's evaporation and what they call condensation like dew. But when you go from gas to solid, there's two alchemical words, it's called deposition, sublimation. So the reason why that's important, because we, we learned that at school, but what we didn't learn is that there is a fourth state of matter called plasma. And plasma relates to the lightning, to the sun, to the flame, to neon signs, it's to the, the energy from the stars and what we call electric arc. So there is, a new technology emerging from the sun and the stars that we're integrating. But really it comes back to knowing that we have what's called pure 
intention because water absorbs the memory and the history of the earth so what we're really coming to is that as we advance into this new technology we need to embrace the environment and recognize that by drinking the pure water we are absorbing the history and the memory of mother earth